Hey, good evening. How's it going? All right. Welcome to another Monday night. Okay. All right, let me get set up here. Now, at least with this project, we don't have a ton of stuff to do to get ready. Uh, let me move this over just a little. All right. <clears throat> we have got to start with our good old glass medium. Now, there's probably about four things that still need to be done. And I don't know in which order I want to do them. So let me get some paint put in here. Actually, let me do four. Because there's four colors no matter what. Here we go. Okay. So to recap, outside of blue and white, the two accent colors that we went with were the zinc, and then I also have this really bright silver. The other thing that we decided to do last week uh, was this real light blue combined with the silver. So I'm gonna have to remix that since that was a week ago. Um, so we can try to use that here. I can fill my palette. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so let's see here. Let's get this. Okay, so as I fill the palette here, um, oh, a couple of things that I need to fix. First off, when I originally started this, I started out with this one here. And I originally thought that this here was going to overlap farther into this pattern. And so I left this section here open. Well, <laughs> it obviously didn't spread out as far as I initially thought it would. And so now I have to come back in um, and rebuild something like this here. There's something. I got some paint here. I'll have to touch that up too. Um, so like I said, somehow I'm going to have to recreate this kind of backwards here, um, kind of fit some things in. That's going to be fun. <laughs> Very sarcastically here. Um, really fun. Uh, because even though it's only like essentially, what, two rows, isn't it? Yeah. Because I've already got sort of the bottom portion here. I'm going to have to re-engineer how this would have looked. I don't know. It's the end of a Monday. I don't know that I have the mental fortitude to try to figure <laughs> to try to figure it out yet. I think I had like three or four cups of coffee today. So that tells you how my day was going. All right, so I get these mixed. Um, so that was one. That's the one thing. The number two thing is the kind of fun part. And that's doing all the accents on all of everything here. That's with the zinc and the silver and the blue. So I think I might do that. Um, but the third thing, I'm trying to get this mixed. This is acting a little funky. And then the third thing is this here. So I did this itty bitty kind of flowery thing. And I originally thought that this was going to be the middle of a pattern. And I was going to put some dots around it, um, you know, more Mandela like, you know, not just leave it like a little flower. Um, the only 
kind of problem with that is it's just all by itself down there and it's not super cohesive to the rest of the design so at some point i'm gonna have to finish this i was thinking about putting another one maybe a little bit larger um kind of duplicate the same pattern over here like i said maybe a little larger and then maybe a third down here or you know take this line here and incorporate a few of the swooshes kind of like this stuff here um it kind of just to tie this section together with the rest because i think this this part over here i really liked i think it came out good i think it's kind of you know a little funky a little unusual to kind of have both of these um oh that's another thing i have this gap right here where this starts and I kind of want to tie it in a little. I'm not sure. I was thinking today, yes, you know what? I am so close to finishing this. I think I can probably get it done in one more session. And as I'm talking about it now, yeah, there's no way is there. Um, since I've been working on it for so long, though, I don't know that maybe next week, maybe I'll take a break. I have another project that I, I kind of want to play around with that I want to work on that might be fun to do. Um, you know, change it up just a little bit. I don't want people just getting sick like, Jesus, is that the only thing that you ever do? <laughs> so, all right. <clears throat> so there's that. I think I got that out of the way. Um, where am I going to start? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, I was thinking about putting maybe some rings around it, like maybe some small micro dots and then maybe one other row, just, you know, to kind of make it round instead of daisy-ish. Okay. Um, since I'm going to do that... kind of look in between I get this pattern here and I got two things to do so I want to highlight it with the accent colors oh actually you know what you probably can't even see that oh, my goodness let me bring it down a little let's make it a little actual easier to see um I need to tie this in with this. So I might go ahead and put in some of this sink here. And then how do I tie it in to this section or this down here? Because all of these, um, they're linked together, right? Either they have the small set of dots, you know, they, they physically kind of touch you know, it, it really kind of wraps itself around. And this one is just floating like out here in space. I don't know what to do with it. Um, I was thinking either, my original intent was to something like this one, I was gonna bring sort of a tendril out here. And then I brought this down, this little curve. And although it looks really cute, it just blocked the crud out of what I wanted to do. Um, which I don't know. I don't know now. I got myself too carried away there. I might try to... Can I? No, probably not. I was thinking maybe I could bring some of these blue ones over. That's a good one. I, I have no idea. I don't know what I want to do there. So, since I've got so many I don't knows, how about I start on something simple? Let me start on this one. Um, let's get some of the accent colors going on it. How did I? The silver is on the blue, and the zinc went around. Ooh, <laughs> I've got a couple of good ideas for this one. On glass, no. Um, on other surfaces, 
it sort of depends. It depends on what you're doing, um, what surface it is, and kind of what your end goal is. Um, but at least on glass, nope, not at all. You basically the only the only thing that you want to do with glass is when you paint an area, just make sure that you do rubbing alcohol, just to make sure that there isn't any oils left from your hands or anything else, like um, you know soap residue or anything on it just so that it gets the best adhesion and then use the glass medium. That's the easy part about glass. Um, <clears throat> pretty much anything else is, it, it really depends on what you're gonna use it for. If you have something else that you are really gonna do, like the base coat with, or like if you're doing a canvas, let me know and I can probably give you a better answer, but yeah. A couple of different factors go into that. I feel like I'm getting a bit of a cold, so. <clears throat> Sorry. Ah, okay. Um, wood and canvas are both, unless the wood has already been treated, they are pretty porous. And so I would say, yeah, absolutely. Um, do the, the base coat of either just a standard acrylic or even the soap, uh, like you're doing now. Um, on something like that though because they're real porous surfaces the other thing is you might want to go ahead and varnish it so do the do the base coat do a varnish like it's a quick spray clear varnish and then dot and then varnish again or resin if you're going to do wood um i think that definitely helps the varnish is going to make it super simple to clean up not necessary, but I definitely think the extra layer of the base coat and the varnish to start with will help. I'm kind of looking at this and let's see. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do some swooshes here. I'm going to fill it in, but I'm debating on if I want to do it silver or zinc. And I'm leaning towards the silver, but I don't know if it's going to be noticeable enough. So let me have my tool or my cloth handy. Let me try one of each. Let's see. Yeah, and you definitely also want to think about, okay, well, what am I going to do with it in the end? If you're going to put something like the wood stuff outdoors, uh, absolutely, no doubt, you know, um, put a base coat and a varnish and then dot and varnish again. If you're not, it's not that big of a deal. You're going to use Mod Podge. Mod, <laughs> Mod Podge? Okay, let's see what you like here. Okay. Oh. I kind of like the silver. I think the silver is just a, a little more clear. Let's see. Okay, I'm Bring this a little closer, but I don't want to have such a limited view. Okay. And yeah, I have no fear of, I mean, this is just my little wet washcloth, just wiping over it. <clears throat> Won't cause any harm. I mean, this has been sitting for so long. It's got the medium. It'll take some water. Okay. Let me get that off of there. We are. Okay. Let's 
get some swooshies in here. Kind of humming on the sides a little bit, sorry. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And then once that dries, I'll put something on top of it. Hopefully it has enough sparkle, I guess, to really be able to tell the difference between the white and the silver when it dries. Okay. Yeah, obviously that one was a little squishy, wasn't it? Obviously, I got these a little closer together, huh? Is what it is now. Do you know anything about that now? Look at how wide this one is in comparison. Oops. And I hadn't paid any attention until now. Gonna be a little bit different each. Not that it's gonna matter in the end, but I will see it. Yeah, you can definitely see the thickness of this paint. It's likes to peak. Oops. So far, so good, right? I think that's coming out good. Yeah, I definitely think it needed this. I didn't realize how kind of plain it was looking until just now.
there. Okay. One more. Where do we want to put the zinc? Um, I want to kind of get this all tied together. So I want to find a good spot to put at least a little bit of the zinc. nice. I like that. Okay. I have to go. Um, what if, uh, what's a good size? What is that? Three, three, if I can find it. What if I put the zinc on the blue? here. Actually, I can probably go up to a four. My tools are in a big pile tonight. I don't know. Okay. I can probably go to a four. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Hopefully you're rested. Hopefully you're okay. Okay, let's try the zinc in here. Okay. Um, you know what? Instead of doing it in the center, let's do it at the bottom. Yeah, I think I like that. I think that works. Just got to be real careful not to get into the silver. a second. Try to push that a little bit. Yeah, I was thinking it might be a little too dark. Originally, I really, really was looking for something in between these two colors. Something just a nice bright silver, but you know, when they don't have it, they don't have it, so. like that. Very mucho. All right. Uh, where else can we get a dot or two? Now, the middle I probably want to do in the bright silver. Um, 
Try to fill this in. Uh, maybe I can get away with another small dot at the top here and do the same on the bottom. Because I don't know that I, this white line here, I don't, <laughs> I hesitate because I don't think I'm going to like it if I put anything on this white line here. I think it's just going to get a little too crowded in the center for me. Um, like I said, I think I'm only going to put something here, but what if I, what about that though? What about like a little tiny thing at the top? What is this, a two and a half? Let's go to a two. Let's go down just a little bit more. Let's see if I can actually find my two. Okay. Let's try this. Delicate balance of getting it right and going overboard. I think that's still okay. I think that works. Small enough dot. And thank goodness the rest of this is dry. Oh my God, can you imagine trying to do this and avoid all these other little lines? Never. Okay. I might give it another minute or two here and work on the other flower. Let's call it a flower before I try to go into the center here too. Here we go. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like I've got a cold coming on. Yuck. Okay. All right. I like that. It looks like a <laughs> it reminds me a combination of um like one of your grandmother's old doilies, the little crochet doilies <laughs> and the lace ones. Um between that and a piece of jewelry, like, like an old brooch. That's what that reminds me of with those colors. All right, so let's go over here. Ah, let's see. <clears throat> da, 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 da. I really did myself in good on this one. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, reverse engineering. What was this? I don't even think I had this set of tools when I, when I did this. What is this going to be like a 10-ish? I don't even know what tool I used for this. Yeah, that was a 10. Okay, so there was that dot. And I'm just kind of hovering this there to see where the edges might be. And do I want to try to pretend that that is actually there and and make this space um, right here white on either side of this blue dot? I don't think I want to because I think it's going to ruin this over here, <clears throat> but I need that guideline, I think. I don't think that I'm good enough to try to pretend my way out of it. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, I've got an idea, but I'm going to have to wait. Here's my idea. What if? What if? <clears throat> let me let this dry. And what I think I'm going to have to do, just so I don't screw it up, is so I know that it's it's going to be about a 10. Um, so these centers here are probably about a 10. So this is what, 12 or something. Um, 
So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do maybe a little paper cutout or something um, in this size. And once this is dry, I'm going to place that where it should be and use that as a guide and, and fill it in around it. Because otherwise I don't feel, I don't feel confident enough that I'm going to make it symmetrical the way I want it to be. So, all right. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and, um, what do I want to, <laughs> can you tell I'm all about the indecision tonight? Holy moly. All right. So we need this. We need this some touch up this over that craft smart paint though let me tell you it's thick enough that i can move around and it's not sliding nowhere that's beautiful all right so that's probably like a six i'm gonna go to a six if i can find it let's start trying to make this over here. Oh, psh, you know what? Let me see it. What the heck am I doing? Let me get this down here. Let's see. So let's get some of this to match some of the stuff on the other side. anybody has any fantastic ideas how I can wrap this one into the flower be my guest let me know because I'm I got way too carried away this is one of the, the pieces that I remember that I started my new tools with because you have these little itty bitty fine curls that I was able to do and I was so excited to be able to do them I got carried away and I just locked myself up I don't really have a way to to incorporate that anymore so, gotta figure something out. Alright, so there's that. I had some light blue on the white dots over there. But I'm kind of like in the silver too. So what if let's do a little bit of both? Let's see. Well, that's an even. That's funny. Okay. Maybe I need another one there. I didn't realize maybe I, I'd started to go down and then went back up again. Maybe I was planning on doing another one here, which isn't a bad idea. Let me, let me do that first. So then what I'll do, let's probably go back down to about a three. Let's try some more zinc out. You know what? Yep. Yeah, they do, don't they? That is so cool. They're so fun. And these tools do it so well. They, the thin points. I was not expecting that at all. Um, geez, what is that? Oh, I thought I grabbed a tune. I didn't. Here it is. 
All right, and then I'll save this since that one is wet. What else, what else, what else? Give it a thought. Let's see here. Oh, you know what? Uh, no, I don't think that would work either. I was thinking I have this space right here. I could have maybe drawn a blue down here. I could, well, I don't think I would, would want to pick it up in white, but you know what? That might work. Hold on. See what I do to myself? I'm just blocking myself in at every dang turn. All right. I didn't give myself enough credit there. Let's get this out of here. Turn that back around. And where's my trusty expo marker? What I could do, and I normally don't do this on glass, but because it's the dark blue, you can't see it, but you can't see it through the other side. Um, what I could do is take a dot and just pull it here and maybe on this side and just kind of let it die over there oh you can't even see that what am i doing i can see that i can see that you can't see that uh da -da -da -da. so we want a nice big dot probably oh sorry here what do i want So I want something like this, um, like this one down here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to do something like that up here, right here. Okay. And maybe that'll tie it in enough. Without being too overwhelming. Let's see what's a good place for the middle. Okay. I'm just going to go down a full step. Each dot, if I can get away with that. touch stuff. That's hard.
let's try that again too. Like that point of paint was not picking up. Okay. Okay, now let's go down to one and a half. Just put that die in there somewhere, maybe. Oh no, that's crooked. Oh no. Great idea, poor execution. Oops. All right, <clears throat> let's try that out again. being funky. See if I can get two dots in here now. kind of arch this around. Now, what size were these? About a one and a half, maybe? Yeah. If I can meet them together. Hello, friend. That's not so bad. Yeah, okay. That works. Yep, a few tiny, maybe micro dots. Ugh. Something ish like that. Hopefully, that doesn't look too funky. Now, now I can go back to these. What size are they? Five, five? Okay. Just keep going down here.
All right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. All right. No, but thanks for joining me, Susan. Look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah, definitely. I'll post some pictures of this here soon, too. So even if you miss it later, like I said, I'll try to try to keep this up to date. Um, I haven't been posting pictures, but I will. Hi, Yuri. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Open Q&A, whatever you've got. Ask school. I'm here. Take a quick sip of tea here, sorry. Let's see. Mm. That's a good question. I don't know. It, that is such a general name. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe. But that's nice. It's really cool to actually hear that uh, somebody has recommended it. That is really cool. I certainly can appreciate it. Hopefully you found at least something interesting and a reason to stop by. So. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> uh-huh. You see that? I got a, like this little bug that decided to come join me on this thing. Are you kidding? No. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Let's get that off of there. Um, I'm going to work with... Ah, let's get some, let's get some accents in here. I think I want some of the silver. Okay. All right, so that sort of matches the bottom. Now, let's go back down here. I'm gonna slowly turn this. Now I've got this big line down here and I only started with some small dots here because I did want to make sure that I had room enough um, to go through and add some accents. And I think probably need to get some swooshes in here so that it kind of matches up some other stuff. So let me turn this a little. I want to make sure uh, what's a really good spot for this. I don't know, that's such a buff. How did I do that on this one? Yeah, I was following the curve on that one, so that's okay. Okay. I think if we do any though, because I want to put some flowers in here, maybe just one or two small swooshes right here, and I think we'll be. I think that'll cover that. Okay. 
that's going to have to be in my hand. make sure <clears throat> that you can actually see it, but I can't turn it too far um, or else I run the risk of damaging what I just did over on the other side. So, all right, let's drag this down here. bubble in there. There. Actually, let's see if I can't curl that a little more this way. Okay, that was a four or five. Let's go down. I'm just going to decrease the size by one. Feels like this one really wants to run, so kind of I'm gonna hold it a little. Hold the vase, not the not the search. All right, that was three. Let's go down to the two. This one might be good enough for the last one. Get it short enough. Ooh, dropped my tool. Sorry. That was kind of loud, huh? Sorry. Whatever reason that one did not want to do what I wanted it to do. Now this is all really dry here. See if I can push the tip down a little. Okay. There, 
that's better. Let's try that again. Okay. <clears throat> now then, uh, then let's do that was a one point five. Get some accents in here. There. That's really nice. Let's see. <clears throat> this. What do I have on the other side? I think it's, yeah, it's just silver. But I'm really liking the zinc on top of the blue. looking um I didn't actually do anything on that side with this so why don't I just bring down um <clears throat> a set let's see if I can turn this a little farther yeah I have plenty of room um let's just see if I can bring down another set of dots here in the zinc deciding what size I want this to do. Mm It's hard to do with these tools sometimes. You really have a hard time walking <clears throat> the larger ones, anything above a, a, like a 3.5. So just switching tools between each one is kind of interesting. Uh, you know what, let's see. This one doesn't go down size ratio so I'm gonna do it at the four and a half now I'll continue to go down
There we go. Changed my mind about the end ones, but they're so small. May not have even noticed them anyways, right? There. Okay. Um I probably want to put another one here though. I can't get one in. I like that. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That way that leaves me a little bit of room if I decide to make this bigger. That'll work great. Okay. All right. We're getting so close to being finished. Um, probably the only other thing. I want to consider. Um, oh, you know what? I did want to put a large dot here. I don't even know what size that was originally, not at all. It's been a long time since I did that one. Is it one and a half? Yeah, something like that. I want to do like a seven and a half, except where the heck did my seven and a half go? There it is. Now do I want it silver or zinc? Oh, hey, darling. <laughs> I'm sort of finishing up. I'm kind of wrapping some things up, but I I did quite a bit. Did quite a bit tonight. Um, Like you'll see, I kind of touched this up, um, got this done, and this area up here. So um, let's see. Well, thank you. I'm liking how this is turning out more and more every day. Um, so what do you think? You can help me decide um, the silver or the zinc for the middle. I'm thinking the silver, but... I don't know. Um, I really like the zinc on the blue a lot more than I thought I was going to actually. Let me try it. I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? I don't like it. I'm going to use a Q-tip on it, right? So um, let's try not to get my hand to that down there. Yeah, I like that. So now, um, I feel like I have so much more that I could do, but some of this isn't really dry. Uh, let's see. 
I don't really, really need any accents here, but I could use some. Maybe especially right here, because this is sort of a weird, sharp turn. Um, what if I... Ow, sorry. Um, what if I take... If I... Oh, I don't know. I feel like I need a dot maybe here that kind of goes through, but there's not enough room. If I had kind of a space in here, then I would kind of loop it through. Bring this down a little. That's true, I could. Once it dries, I can drop a, a dot of silver on top of it. That would be pretty too. That would really stand out, wouldn't it? What if I do another swoosh here? I think that's probably going to be my best bet because this is sort of, like I said, a weird angle here. Um, but if I put another swoosh, it'll be a short legged one, but I think that might fill that gap a little bit better. Uh, what am I going to need? Like a four and a half or something like that? I guess. Yeah, but that would be right about the distance that it should normally be. Yeah. What do you think? Um, we can either do, I can put a dot here and then just carry over it and kind of cross over it. Or I can just do a white, another white swoosh. Because if I do the swoosh, let me see. Can I do another one over here? Yeah, that would kind of fill it up like I did with some of these. Oh, but you know what? Wait a second. I completely forgot. Let's not ruin what I just did. Uh, remember these little crowns that we did? Um, I was I was thinking about doing that with these. Oh, this is so wet. So you know what I could do? Yeah, you know what? I might just leave this then, and then do the crowns. I've got like six different ideas. Nobody's going to keep up. Um, I did the blue on that, though. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah. So I'll leave that then. I know it'll be a little bit more zinc. Um because the other ones, instead of using the zinc on the white, I used that kind of blue that we made, that sort of silvery blue um, on the white. But that's okay. I think zinc could still work there. And then let's just go ahead in that case Um, and then let's just do, because I've got this little itty bitty space here too. Let me just do a couple of micro dots on this side. <clears throat> um, so it fills that up. Well, they're actually not even going to be micro dots. Uh, do I want silver? Yeah, let's do silver. Why not?
cotton kind of like that ish seems like the size went up there and Yeah, I gotta stop playing with it. Alright, so that I'll have the crowns. This will be a little bit empty. Um, you'll see earlier if you do go back through the recording what I was talking about this part. Um, I'm not doing anything on this one because see these like three petals. Originally, I thought that this flower on this side um, was going to overlap way more into this one than it did. Um, and so I didn't do that petal at all. But now I've got these little gaps here. Um, not so much now that I did the swooshes, but I'm going to have to kind of um, recreate these petals here. So what I was thinking about doing is I might just go ahead and take like a piece of paper or something, do a little round cutout and lay it over this <laughs> when it dries, um, just to kind of dot around it to make sure that, that it looks proper. So hopefully that'll be okay. Um, and I think the last thing I'll probably do then tonight um, it really sucks that I didn't do any of this in the original and these tools with the HDC because I have no idea what sizes I did these in. No idea. So you kind of have to like guess everything. I am not very good at trying to reverse engineer some of this stuff. I mean, some of it's pretty easy, um, but because I have the other pattern there now, like I threw myself completely off. I admit that. I, that's one thing I'm, I don't want to mess it up too bad. So I think that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. Um, where else can I get maybe some good top dots in here? I definitely want some accents, but this particular one is so hard. These petals are kind of huge and I don't necessarily want to go through and dot the walked ones around the petals. I don't know why. Um, I feel like that's going to be just a smidge much. So just try to find little spaces that I can to get some stuff in. It is this crazy, right? It, it gives it a whole different depth. I was so afraid of them for the longest time, too. Definitely should not have been afraid of it. I'm going to stay with the, the dots on the bottom. Did it once, so I'll kind of keep it consistent.
and oh yeah this is the one right here it's another one of the petals that's sort of hanging out there that needs to be completed too i didn't even think about that guy look at that yep this one right here i only have the white surrounding it um there's another layer of blue here ironically enough it would be right where this blue is so i could skip that yeah that that's pretty easy hold on a second burp what was that probably like a three Mm, two and a half. Um, I'm not sure. Like um, this one, right? When you're talking about like the peak. like these two um, at the top here? Or you mean the large? That might work either way, really. Because I did that here. Um, I did the middle and then the top. I mean, this is so large. Yeah, I can do that too. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if this is going to work. What is that? My paint's getting a little wonk. A little wonky. That one's definitely not the same size. The second one was bigger than the first one. So that's not a lot. Got any stretch of the imagination. I think I'll definitely do that with the top two ones. I agree, I agree. Let me check this again. Give or take like a two. Okay, that worked. Kind of held my breath there. Trying to recreate some things, always weird. See if I can get around this here. Not so much. Ah. No. I could, honestly, just leave that side alone. I don't think anybody would notice. Mm-hmm. I agree with you about the, the big white one not having anything on it because it's so large. I don't know. When you start to put stuff on it, I don't know. It, it feels like it kind of goes wonky too, a little.
think I can be sneaky and get away with leaving that? <laughs> I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? All right. Uh, at least for now, I'm going to leave it. Um, so with the white, then I'm going to assume the top two should probably be zinc. Yeah, the larger, the the harder they are. Oh my god. Yeah, you have to do so much paint and it feels like, I don't know, especially with the other tools that I was using, it literally felt like, you know, those, uh, like you were holding on to those crayons that like the little kindergartners get, you know, and you just like stamp and stuff. And <laughs> you don't feel like you have control at all. It's terrible. I hate it. But yeah, these ones are, these ones are much better. Um, but even still, like, look at, I don't know if I'm ever going to do one of those, like, humongous pieces. Let's get four. Okay, I think. Let's try that. I'm upside down. I can't see what I'm doing. Or I can do that one silver. That's the beautiful thing about the designs like these. You know, it's your eye draws to the center and kind of around. Um, it's super easy to, to miss mistakes. Okay. What does that look like? Um, with the zinc on the top too? I can actually <laughs> this one's some silver. Doesn't really need it, but while we're at it. Yeah, I definitely like that. That, yep. I like the way it comes together. And then I'm just going to leave these large ones. I need to go over this one. Something happened. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but there's, there's little blue marks here. Almost like little scratches. I don't know if you can actually see that. I have no idea what happened. So I'm going to have to to do a top coat of white on that one. Um, 
but I might actually go back with my paintbrush. <clears throat> I have like a little paintbrush somewhere in here. Well, that one's even too big. Um, fix that. And I guess the only other thing that I could do would be these ones, the ends of these swooshes, which would be sink. I'm following my own little pattern. a little small. And to look at this, I'm going to look back at this someday and I'm going to be like, oh my god, it really took you that long to do this? I, I'd have to honestly look and see the first date that I streamed this because I have not done any work on it at all um, unless it has been live. I just, I kind of kept it as my live project. Um, and what am I doing about an hour, no more than usually about an hour and a half per stream. So, wow. I think, what is this number, seven or eight? So yeah, I think this is, this is taking me about nine hours, I would say, to this point, some, something like that. Aw, oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't feel like it some days, um, but I think everybody has that. I think everybody's got that. One and only last thing, I promise. I have to connect this. I have to connect this. Um, I'm trying to determine what size that was. Basically, it's just going to be one dot here, but Oh, hello. Ooh. That needed to be kind of connected. There. Yeah, when this one is done, I'm like, I'm gonna run around the block screaming, I tell you what. <laughs> This is by far uh, the longest. I mean, it's not big. I'm not going to say that this is a big project because it's it's just a base. I mean, it's it's not huge. Um, but yeah, by far this is the the longest that I've ever worked one project. So yeah, I'm I'm going to be yelling from rooftops. Seriously, you're going to see this thing all over everywhere. All right, so I guess the last things that I'm going to need to finish, and I'm going to do this next week. Um, oh, crap. Oh, no, that's more than what I thought. Um, see? See what happens? So I've got to get top dots on these swooshes that I added. Um, crowns on those. Crowns on these ones. Um... And then I actually was going to put two more of these here. Um, and like I said, maybe another circle around this or something, something to make this look like it's not just a daisy. I was going to put one or two here. Maybe some little dotty dot accents there. Oh, dang it. See, I thought I was so close to finishing. Now I've got, I've got a whole nother session ahead of me. 
to finish up those sections and then and then just do this so that's this right here will be my next week's project um yeah i i mean this side is so much different it's so crazy um how different that is um, but that's what I wanted. I really wanted to, to kind of merge some sort of kind of abstract kind of just whatever um, with some mandalas. And I think, yeah, once I get this finished, I think it'll be exactly what I wanted originally. So not exactly where, <laughs> not where I started out. Not, this is not looking anything like I originally thought it was going to be. Um, but at the same time, like, this has come a long way. All right, I'll leave it like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I am to the point where I have a little bit more time in the evenings. Um, I had a little bit more free time come up. So um, if I can, I might actually jump in at some point through the week again. I might kind of do an impromptu <laughs> stream. Um, instead of just a scheduled Monday. Um, if I do that, I'll, I'll try to give a day ahead, um, try to give somebody a heads up, but I think that's where we'll head. All right, but hey, thanks for jumping on. Um, I'm gonna post this, the rest of the live here as soon as I'm done. Um, so if or whenever you wanna catch up, you certainly can. And then, yeah, like I said, unless I stream again, uh, sometime between now and next Monday. We'll catch you again next Monday. Hope you have a fantastic night.